you know, I was, I was completely fine with like working like, you know, a nine to five, you know, like two years ago. I was, I, I was in the mindset like, yeah, I'm just going to be working a, a, a nine to five. I'm just going to be your normal, like regular, you know, like average Joe guy. Now, of course, I think we should have a lot more appreciation for these people who work these, you know, like hard labor jobs because they are the people that quite literally make our civilization run. The plumbers, the electricians, the construction workers, without them, I have a lot of respect for those people, especially the ones with families, for the men who go to work every day, hard work, hard physical labor, and go, go out to work and and get and try to just get that paycheck to provide for their family i think that's what a, a real a real man does he, he provides for his family something my dad told me i'm grateful for what he told me you know i thought i was gonna amount to nothing in life mainly because i listened to the people who are around me so you know i had a, a garbage you know little social circle i was in and you know i listened to the people around me i listened to the people who told me i you know i wasn't gonna be anything and that i shouldn't even like try to start a channel I listen to those people, you know, I've delayed it for so long now. I, I've had two past channels, one had, you know, 65 subscribers and one had 300. And I just got rid of both of those channels. They're still, like, up, I just don't have access to them. So I started up a new channel, and here we are. This is my channel, this is the one that I'm gonna put the work in and grind for. I had two past accounts, one had 24,000 followers on tiktok and another one had 55,000 followers on tiktok both of those got banned and that was the main reason why i actually like quit tiktok I mean, not because of like the, the attention span things i learned that later on after i deleted tiktok but that was the main reason i, I deleted tiktok because i just i gave up on tiktok bro I, I kept getting banned for like no reason out of the blue i was just like all right bro like like fuck you i used to think like the only way that you could like become rich was just through like a you know like a, a real physical business right you had to own a business in order to get rich now of course if you want to become like a, a huge successful billionaire i'm sure a business is probably the best way to go about it but it's, it's really hard it's a lot of work and there's a bunch more easier ways you can become successful too i personally think that becoming a billionaire is honestly a little bit of like too much success i'm making a video on like the sweet spot of success soon but then you know the meta changes right you know in video games is like a meta it's you know most efficient tactic available and you know the meta changed right you know the old meta was you know go to college save up money you know you know may buy a house invest the the new method is is wi-fi money now if you don't know what wi-fi money is it's 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 money made through the internet so let's say for example you know you someone's selling an online course to their followers and people buy it and you know they're making like 10 grand a month that's wi-fi money bro so the new meta is to become a synthesizer. So if you don't know what a synthesizer is, it's pretty much someone who, you know, spends hours like learning something and, you know, they compress it all into just one short thing and they share it on the internet for free. And now you're, you're probably wondering like, for free? What? what? How are you supposed to make money like that? So for, let's say, for example, you know, you take a book, right? You know, you read it. It takes you about a week to read and then you post a book guide on it for an hour. That would be synthesizing. But how a synthesizer makes money is because you need to have true fans if you scroll down and look at my first community post you'll see that i i made an analogy all you need to make a living off of youtube is just twenty thousand subscribers you might be thinking oh bull bullshit bro i swear to you twenty thousand is all you need with twenty thousand subscribers comes you know i'd say about 200 or 100 you know ish true fans you sell them a course for a hundred dollars a month and then let's say you know twenty thousand followers you got about a hundred true fans who would buy that course that's ten thousand a month just with twenty thousand bro that's all you need so a lot of people are synthesizers and you don't even realize that people like hamza first man all these self-improvement youtubers these are all synthesizers with a job you'll have no freedom nothing to you know you'll, you'll be on a schedule so i want you to adapt the mindset that Wi-Fi money will set you free. And I want you to take your time and learn and invest as much as you can into learning um, how to become an influencer. There's a book I want you to read. It's called The Psychology of Influence by Robert C. Ladini or something like that. He's like the psychologist guy. He made a video on it. And then there's another book, How to Win Friends and Influence People. Buy, buy all those books and then read them all and you'll, you'll pretty much have all the knowledge you need to become a synthesizer online.